Hi, welcome back. My name is Srikant. In this series of sessions, we are looking at Datasphere and SAC connectivity options in detail. In the first session, we have gone through the overview of connectivity use cases between Datasphere and SAC applications. In this particular topic, we are going to understand the live connection from Datasphere to SAC. That is option number one, or use case number one. Let's get to the my notes and understand what is required to set up this connection. The prerequisites for setting up this connection and make it working, uh, we have to have a, a data sphere user that has at least consumer scope role on the space that we are going to access from data sphere. An SAC user of BI content creator role or even administrator role also fine, but it's just at least minimum BI content creator role. And a user must be in both applications, which means SAC as well as Terasphere. Now, can you see the picture that by using live connection, we can consume the data from analytic models or prospectives uh, that are created as part of consumption models in Business Builder. And using this live connection, Analytics Cloud can read the data or consume the data from these two objects and create stories on top of them. We don't have to create a model explicitly in data in SAC or Analytics Cloud application. Let's take a look at the connection setup quickly. The, the first activity is going to be creating a um, or adding a uh, SAC URL in the trusted origin of data sphere. It's pretty simple. Grab the URL from SAC tenant URL, uh, web URL and then add it in the data sphere administration. Let's let's get to the system and then see how it is uh, done. So I'm going to the data sphere system and then access system and administration. And then in the app integration, I can see the trusted origins here. So this is where I click on added trust origin and give the SAC tenant URL. I already given that here, so I'm going to close this one. That's pretty much that we need to do. The second step is to create live connection in SAC. So I'm going to switch to SAC application connections and then start creating a connection, new connection. So look for live data connections and then choose application data sphere. And then provide the name for this connection, you can give data sphere live or whatever and then description and the connection details I have host and port. This host is Datasphere host and then port is default port is 443. And then there's nothing else that you need to do, uh, say okay. So I already created the connection. I can show you how this was um, created. The technical name is this one and then I have the host in here, which is the Datasphere host. You can see this is exactly same as what I have here in the URL of the data sphere. So take this one and give the 443 as the port and then say, okay, my connection has been completed. It's very simple. So I have added the trusted origin and created the connection in uh, SAC, trusted origin in data sphere and connection in SAC. Then now I can go to uh, folders in SAC and then start creating stories. As I said, I don't have to create any model, uh, whether it is live or import, not required. So I'm gonna start creating a new story and then choose responsive. And then drag a table or insert a table and then choose an existing model. This is going to be um, remotely accessed data sphere system analytic view. So I got the access to my space and then choose the folder that I wanted to and keep the, and select the folder that I have the day uh, analytic views created, modeling, and pick the one analytic models and just choose the, the one that I wanted. Uh, that's it. So similarly, I can access prospective and then uh, create a story on top of it. That's pretty much uh, it is option or use case one creating a live connection and accessing analytic views uh, in SAC and create a report or story in Analytics Cloud application. 
Thanks for listening. For detailed training on Datasphere, reach out soropalias at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye for now.